you're looking at baby back rib coils. This is something I've never seen anyone do before. I needed to optimize the space in my smoker and I didn't have one of the stand-up racks. So I decided to coil them and then skewer them. You notice I used um, rosemary just because I got a big rosemary bush in the neighborhood I stole from. Otherwise use bamboo skewers, wooden skewers, whatever. If you're going to use bamboo or wooden skewers you need to make sure they're soaked so they don't flame up and burn up. Uh, fresh rosemary, they'll hang in there for a while. So anyway, I can get six of these in my cure. I got three more already in and these are going to be jumping in there with them. Um, like I said, I'd never seen anybody do this before. You have them in coils of the smoke and the heat and everything can still get through all the surfaces. Um, I coil the thin end of the ribs, you know, they, they have a thin flap at one end. I coil that on the inside and that kind of helps them. And anyway, I thought I would just share that with the world. Never seen this before. I woke up at 3 in the morning thinking of this. Okay, I'm done. Bye. That's right, JP the Strato Blogster here, doing the foodie thing today. A little break from the guitar action. You know, guitar players like to eat, and they probably like their ribs. Um, what we have here is six racks of baby back pork ribs um, in the pit at the same time. And I did that by coiling them, uh, like you saw earlier. But just to prove that I got six of them in, they're not overlapped or anything like that. The coils uh, are still open enough to allow heat and smoke convection and everything. All right. So I'm using my uh, Traeger wood pellet smoker. Uh, they're made right here in Oregon. Um, and I'm using a combination of apple and maple wood pellets. That's a mix of Washington apple pellets with maple pellets. And they just feed in through a little auger and, uh, and it's a lot of fun. I'm going to be spraying these babies with uh, ap an apple juice vinegar solution about every 45 minutes, maybe every half an hour. And they're cooking low and slow. See we're sitting around 200 right now. I'm going to be cooking them between two, two and a quarter uh, for a few hours. And, uh, and then I'm actually going to transfer them to the oven to 200 just to steam for a while under foil. So they don't get over smoked. Anyway, hey, that's what we do when we're not goofing off with guitars. We're making ribs. All right. Bye-bye.